I found some uh, some memes I made about six years ago that my idea with these was to kind of build up a collection of them and then when I got in arguments or discussions with stupid people who were promoting science but didn't know what they were talking about, I could just, you know, pop these in there. Um, some of them are kind of funny, so I thought I might read some of them out. Um, this first one. I'm not the one making a claim. The burden of evidence is not on me. Some of them are just a word, like, definitely. Um, do you say anything that isn't a logical fallacy? Galileo ignored data. I can too. I can make wild baseless claims too. I understand everything you say, but you don't understand anything I say. And I'm the one who's ignorant? Remember, I made these because I had occasion to use them multiple times. Oh, so fix it. Right, so people like bitching about how like something doesn't work or whatever. What the hell are you talking about? Is one of them. Where are you going with this? Why should we assume that? What the fuck? <laughs> this one was, it's a um, mockery of a whole bunch of, uh, I don't even remember the original source multiple professional linguists that uh, I just they, they just couldn't deal with the things I was saying and they would tell me all the time you just don't get it you don't get it do you why don't you get why don't you understand you don't get it like I got that a lot so this one you just don't get it uh, you're really good at not listening I like this one. Truths are not a privilege of the elite. Esoteric falsehoods are. If you think you know me based on appearances, then you know less than nothing. Woo, unask the question. If you use a Lakatosian program, then you are prone to cause it to stagnate. Anyone familiar with the uh, late 20th century philosophy of science is going to understand that one. If your science suffers from physics envy, the solution is to apply rigor, not play make-believe. Uh, generally, the soft sciences suffer physics envy. It's a very real thing. If I'm saying things you don't understand, I probably know something you don't. I found this is generally true. It took me a long time to realize this, but once I did, yeah. You, you learn to listen to people, because when they're saying crazy shit, there's a reason they're saying crazy shit. <laughs> Just listen. Use what works, throw the rest away. Cherish the baby, not the bathtub you lost it in. So, um, my syntax professor at the University of Arizona, he kept telling me to stop trying to throw, to stop throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And I thought this was the stupidest fucking phrase. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, I, I'm irritated with this. Because 
in my view, pretty much the entire model that he like was was holding up was obvious trash. So I wasn't even convinced that there was a baby in the bathwater. So that's where this from comes from. That's not the only way to think about it. This is also an important thing. So many of the... Uh, the hell is that? So many of the, uh, the people that I've worked with had just like one way of thinking about even the, their professional like work in science. They only had one way to think about it. And, you know, they would... It's one of the reasons that I would be brought in on projects is because I could... They could just describe what they're doing to me and ten different ways of thinking about it would pop into my head and it'd be like, hey, have you thought about looking at it this way or this way or this way or this way? And not all of those end up being fruitful and some of them are ridiculous because I'm, you know, I'm stupid too. But having multiple ways of thinking about it is really, really useful for anything. You hit a dead end and want to continue forward? You're proposing an idea fraught with paradoxes and expect me to take you seriously? So like an example of this one would be when physicists talk about how there's a quantum singularity at the center of a black hole. No, no there isn't. You Nothing predicted that. Also, paradoxes galore. And you, you, any, like, literally anything else that doesn't have that is more likely to be the, the real case. Because, no, too many paradoxes. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to know that. It's not linguistic specific. Uh, we've got this one a few times. Are you ever going to stop shifting the burden of evidence? <laughs> Optimality theory. A Turing complete formalism for handling regular grammars. I think the ones after this are all stupid. Oh, no. I like this one. You cannot achieve a final vocabulary. There is no end game in life. I think that was a lot of fun. So yeah. yeah. 